Where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Uh, I didn't think nothing about it. Just jumped in my car and I drove. Just as stickily in automatic and chronicle mode. I'm hitting I don't get a pose. Hoping it go up my nose so I can write the bombest words that I ever composed. I can see it on the incline. They call me the nine. With words visualizing risk from dangerous minds. Again, dangerous times. Look straight and watch for the sign. Try not to go to jail. I'll be a legend in time. Because I knew I can do it. This music can make that flow fluid. We off that fluid. When it's time to react. I just play the basset like that. And let y'all take a note. This is where it's at. Because when it's time to react. I just play the basset like that. And let y'all take a note. This is where it's at. Because when it's time to react. I just play the basset. And let y'all take a note. This is where it's at. It's where it's at. It's where it's at. It's where it's at. This is where it's at. It's where it's at. It's where it's at. When it's time to react. When it's time to react. When it's time to react. When it's time Miseries, prophecies, let them blow in the wind like trees on the one, please. On my own, with a face full of stone, thinking I don't want to die all alone. I'm in the zone. I was blessed when I met you in that summer dress, driving through the drive through stress. Check it. Glad to meet you. Girl, I need you. Yo, ah, do it one more time, Barry. Oh, hey, what's up? My name is Gerald Lance Farrell. You're probably wondering what I'm doing at this hot dog stand. Well, I'm just paying my dues just like you out there. What we're going to be doing for the next hour, we're going to be going inside the music business, the rise and fall of independent music labels. So sit back, relax, and see if at the end of this video you really want to get into the music business. So I'm going to see you in the studio. All right, peace. Many people dream of becoming a superstar recording artist, some with talent and some without. And as usual, many are big on dream and small on information. Although a very dynamic and volatile industry, the music business has experienced significant changes due to the sudden rise in the number of independent music labels. In the hip-hop genre especially, independent music labels like Death Row, Bad Boys, and No Limit have gained enormous success and have basically become major independent music labels. Oh, you know, we came up with Dove Sack. Hey, the, the group, the group, our first group was called Chronic Side, which means potent music. It wasn't, you know, people think it was a weed thing, but we just doing, we just chronic music as far as potent dope music. So we did, hey, look, the compliment to what we was already on the roll on, we tried to do something which is positive. So I could go to high school, whatever, say, look, all you, you saying y'all got a problem with high school kids smoking weed, uh, I put the music in the sack and selling it to them. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What is an independent music label, and what sets it apart from a major music label? What does it take to build a music empire from the ground up, and who are the people that dare to stand up against all odds to compete with the majors? Success or failure in the music business, plain and simple, relies on the ability to sell records. If you can remember this simple formula, then you will be able to plan and organize a music company that can succeed. But it won't be easy. Tanya Butler is an attorney and CEO of Butler the Better, an entertainment consultant company. She's also the president of Dubsack Records, and she explains exactly what are the role and responsibility of an independent music label. A record label is an entity that is presumed, and the important word there is presumed, you're presumed to have the ability to acquire and develop artists. You're presumed to have the ability to produce and record music. And most importantly, you are presumed to have the ability to manufacture, market, and promote your finished product. If you don't have the ability to get artists, to develop artists, if you don't have some way to record and produce your music, and if you don't have some means to actually manufacture and promote your music, you are not a record label. Um, and, and if you think about it, all the things I just said are all the things that a distributor does not do. That's why you have to be able to do them. Um, what 
indie labels do that really causes them a lot of harm in this business is they call themselves labels and they lose credibility. You go to somebody and you say, I'm a record label, I need this. I'm telling you that presumption pops into their mind right away. They are presuming that you can do certain things. So if you go to somebody and you say, I'm a label, and you can't manufacture your product, they're going to be wary of you. you talk, if you call yourself a label and you don't even have a marketing plan or a budget or any idea of how you're going to promote your stuff, they're not going to take you seriously. So be very, very careful. Now, you know what? You may not be a label. You might be a production company. A production company, basically all they do is record and produce music. They turn over the finished master to a bigger label who then manufactures, markets, and promotes. Um, I want to also go into some other things that, that make you a label or not. Um, if you don't have, and, and check these off in your mind, if you don't have at least one artist ready for retail and one artist in development, you're not a label. If you don't have some means to record your music, i.e. your own studio, which some people have, or a budget or means to use somebody else's studio and to pay for studio time, you're not a label. If you don't have the resources to manufacture, which means some sort of a relationship or a budget to spend money to print and press CDs, you are not a label. Um, even simpler than that, there's some other things I wanted to go into because these are really, really, these are so basic. If you don't have a DBA, if you don't have your name registered as a, a, a fictitious business, you're not a label. You're not even a company. With the convenience and global exposure of the internet, thousands of artists with makeshift home music studios are producing, promoting, and selling their music on the internet. But the traditional method of selling through retail outlets still overshadows the internet. What's the, the, the process for young artists, independent label-wise, for getting their music into your store? First thing, uh, you know, we ask groups to do is when they bring their, get their project finished and complete, you know, to bring it through, let us listen to it and review it. And, uh, you know, we know that if we can listen to a project and find out if it fits you know, what we sell here. Uh, matter of fact, I can listen to a product and tell you if I can sell it or not. So uh, that's one thing. That we, first thing that we look for is if it's a good, customer-friendly pro type project that we can sell. So uh, from that point, our second question, which is the biggest question to someone, is what you going to do to promote your project? What you going to do to let people know that your project is in stores? So that is a uh, one of the things that most artists don't realize, when you go in the studio and do a real a great project, most people think that the hardest part is over. But believe the me, begins. the work just began. And uh, uh, you know, and I tell everybody and stuff, a hit record without marketing and promotion is just another record. It ain't, it ain't, <laughs> ain't going, we got plenty of hits in there on the Still wall. On the there is much more to owning and operating an independent music label than simply making music. For the past eight years, Dubsack Records, with their charismatic leader, Nine, has aimed for success as they have also struggled to build their independent record label. Back, AW. TV, Poetry in Motion. This is for everybody, black, white, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Japanese, worldwide. Uh, we're sitting here with uh, Nine, uh, feature rapper on Dove Sack Records. What's up, Nine? What's up? How you living? How you living? We're in the studio. We're doing it live right here for you. Um, this, is just, this is just part one section of what goes on in the music business. There's so many different facets to it. Uh, I'm just going to jump right in here, and we'll definitely pick back up with you later. But Nine, how do you... Before you come to the studio, um, how do you how do you get prepared? I mean, as far as your, your lyrics and, and your sound, what do you do? Uh, I think I basically, me and Ski, we just make sure uh, we got everything ready to go, the lyrics, the bars, and then we can come in and just knock the songs out. You know what I mean? Make sure we just come in there and just, you know, get, if we if we concentrate on that song, because basically we do three, four, five songs at a time. Mm, okay. So we'll make sure they're all ready to go, and they're coming in here, lay all the beats down at once. 